Hey guys! This video is the second part of my tutorial to create a Velociraptor art doll. If you haven't seen the first part where I create the head, you can find the link in the description. I start with the two pieces of the head. I use masking fluid on the teeth as I don't want any pain on them. I can then paint the inside of the mouth, making a gradient of dark pink to black for the back of the throat. I add some details, like red, on the tongue and cover everything with a gloss varnish. As you can see, I drilled a hole behind the head for the plastic armature and embedded a nut into the jaws to help assemble everything. I screw a bolt into the hole, but before tightening everything, I put some epoxy scalp under the head of the bolt to help fix it and some thread locker into the nut. I then screw the bolt as much as I can. I fill the holes on both sides of the head with epoxy putty and make the texture of the skin. I continue with the armature of the body. I use 14 gauge galvanized steel wire for the body and the legs and 18 gauge for the toes and arms. I cut a long piece for the body and mark where the arms and leg will be attached with a sharpie. I cut the rest of the pieces. For the arms, I cut three pieces and twist them together, leaving a lens for the fingers.
I then assembled the feet, gluing the small pieces for the toes to the big one without glue. I reinforce everything with epoxy putty. I finish by twisting a thin wire around the fingers and the toes to help the clay stick better on it. For this art doll, I decided to use cos clay, a new flexible polymer clay. That way, the ends and feet will not break and are quite poseable. I sculpt the claws and form the general shape of the fingers with cast clay, baking the pieces and adding another layer on top of it. I attach the claws Put a thin layer of clay on top of the fingers and form the scales. I add some texture to the fingers before baking the hands into the oven. I do the same thing with the feet. I assemble the body. I start by gluing the plastic armature for the neck to the wire of the body without glue. I twist the wires of the arm around the body and glue the wire of the legs on the mark. I reinforce everything with epoxy sculpt. I then glue the head to the plastic armature and reinforce everything with epoxy pulley. I decided to reinforce the body and the legs with another piece of wire twisting around them.
To mimic the bones, I also put epoxy sculpt onto the armature, making sure to leave enough space for the joints. To balance the doll, I use egg sinkers for fishing on the extremity of the tail. I add enough to balance the hard doll and glue them in place. Once my armature is done, I wrap strips of quill batting around the body. I decided to try another technique for the pattern of the body. I used my reference, indicating where the pieces start and end. I then trace around the silhouette, pieces by pieces. I add a little length to each side, taking the volume of the hurdle into account. It is an approximate. I will adjust the pieces directly on the hurdle. I cut the pieces of my pattern and transfer them onto the fabric, making sure to sink off each side of the other. I cut the fabric and join the mirrored pieces together in order to sew one side. I turn the fabric, put the piece on the art doll and sew it directly on it using the ladder stitch. That way the fabric is tightly sewn on it. Once the piece is sewn, I glue the extremity onto the clay pieces using Fabri-Tac. Once the body is done, I pen the doll using golden thread acrylics diluted with golden eye flow medium and an airbrush. Be careful when using acrylics onto fabric. The fabric tends to become stiff and lose its flexibility. I recommend using a good brand of acrylics and an airbrush to make sure you only paint the surface of the fabric. I apply three coats of paints. The first one is beige, the second is oxide yellow and the last one is red. I make sure to create a gradient that I finish using a brush. I continue with the head, hands and feet, using the same color as the body.
I paint the stripes on the body with black and finish the head. I varnish the head, hands and feet with a matte varnish and finish with a satin varnish for the neck. I cut two triangles of fabric, paint them with a dark pink and attach them in the corners of the mask with Fabri-Tac. The art doll is now finished! I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you for the next project. Bye bye!